Hello all, welcome back to This Old Dave, Serious Lee's here. Today what we're going to be doing is setting up some long range or some far distant galaxy portal bases because what I have been doing all day today, and I don't know if we're going to have videos for the second half of the week at this point, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been farming derelicts in different systems. Uh, as you can see here, if you look under the title, the first line says a, display, a deployable freighter upgrade salvaged from that freighter, that name. This one here this is the Newman 3. And up here we got the uh, Kuchiomo Hauler. I've been trying to get each one we visit, what was this one? Yeah, same hauler to give me a hyperdrive one because I want to verify that these S-Class ones are 250 range. These two are, this one is a 216. I reloaded the save. Uh, this one was 246. Yeah, no, not gonna cut it. We need 250s. But one of the addresses I found for a 250 light year range freighter uh, has a really terrible, terrible derelict freighter layout in Euclid, where the address is from, and I've been to Isentam, where my only other portal base is, and guess what? Uh, oh, oh, guess what? The game almost froze on us there. <laughs> uh, the thing is, that star system doesn't exist in Isentam, and the same portal address will not send you to the same place, so you can't do that derelict in Isentam, uh, oddly enough. So I want to go to uh, we're in room Manawa, I think right now, Galaxy 39, so we're going to put a base on a portal here, then we're going to head back to Galaxy 30, and if there's time we'll go to Galaxy 19 and do the same there, because we have a settlement in Galaxy 19, but we do not have, I didn't read any of that, uh, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this thing again. All right, uh, we're missing the most important keywords, obviously. We want glory, but that doesn't help. Small terrified creature emerges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ancient hunt, pursuit in the thunder of hooves, glory, huh? Mm. What are the Viking? This is a Viking system. Grab weapon, dodge weapon, leave. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done this one or I don't remember doing it. We're gonna try. All right, well that seems like the correct answer. Uh, no, I don't want that multi-tool, thank you. We learned the Atlas word for and. Now, question is, uh, do we have any Viking effigies? What we're gonna have to do is before we talk to this thing again, is call the freighter in. There we go. And we'll go to storage. Uh, is it effigies or daggers? Let's take one of these. That was all of them, wasn't it? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that'll do. Either way. Uh, let's talk to the thing. And what do we have to offer? I think it's just one dagger. Yeah, one Viking dagger. There we go. Portal detected. Uh, so, let's put that stuff away. Uh, we might end up on another Viking system. We'll put that there for now. Let's head over to the portal. And we're just going to set up a quick base. We're not going to use the portal today. We're just setting up a couple of bases at a couple of different portals. How far away are we? Very far Let's pulse to the other side of the planet. Very pink space here. Very interesting organ music still going on. So yeah, I've run a lot of derelicts today. Uh, I haven't gained a lot of things because most of them I just reloaded. I think I only currently have one salvaged frigate module. Maybe I spent it. Uh, yeah, it looks like I spent it. So we can't even do a derelict today if I... Well, I could buy it. How much money do we got? Not a lot. I don't want to spend five million bucks. Alright, looks like we're going to the far side of this portal here. 
I'm going to put the base computer over here to the side and we'll put a you know what we didn't do is we didn't buy any resources to build bases let's uh, quickly check what we got um, we're going to need metal plating we're going to need nanotubes um, yeah I think only two per base uh, we should probably either get some carbon or try to buy some nanotubes. Let's build a base computer. Okay. Uh, claim base. Because this is not like a community planet, it's fine to put a base right beside a portal. It's not going to bother anyone. This is just for us to use the portal in this galaxy. Alright, we need to build. Uh, it's not going to be powered right away, but we don't need to use it right away. So let's build two of these. And a battery. And do we have everything we need for this? Perfect. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the third thing was, but it's just sodium. We're good to go. And then Q for wire mode. Go from you to you, and from you to you, and then from you to the portal. And then the last thing we need to do is we can't upload the space. It's not enough pieces, but we don't want to upload it anyway. We don't want to get in anyone's way if they do happen to come here. Rumanawa. Portal base. There we go. All done. And we just hit leave. One down. And uh, if it were daytime, what time is it? It is 8.30 <laughs> at night on this planet where we are right now. We are not waiting around. We're going to go to the space station here. Uh, this might be the last time. Actually, you know, I sort of don't want to go to the space station here, but looks like we got no choice. Uh, because the space stations currently in my list are some of the ones that uh, have derelicts that I want to run. This system here I haven't tried. I, I have no idea what the derelict is here. But I'm just running uh, derelict addresses I've found from other people and ones I've found myself online uh, from other people, I guess. <laughs> ones that were given to me and ones that I found posted to community sites like the Coordinates Exchange, uh, Actually, most of the ones I found were from uh, YouTube, but of course, all of those ones were from the coordinates exchange as well. So, it's crazy how many I found. Lots of S-Class derelict freighters out there, tons, uh, and I want to try running them in different galaxies. So that's what we're setting up today. A couple of bases to run some derelicts. That's what we're going to do next time, I think, is run a derelict or two. We'll show off some of the cool ones. I found one that's basically only good for getting uh, derelict uh, cargo bulkheads. It's amazing for getting, it's the fastest freighter I've ever seen. It's really crazy. We'll, we'll go over that one probably at least. Uh, all right, Galaxy Sub-Zerbal. We didn't even name this one. We didn't know it was Galaxy 30 when we set that base up. That's where we'll head. And when we appear here, we will uh, rename the space to say Galaxy 30 or Subzertal Galaxy 30, then set up another base on the same planet, just because. <laughs> it's probably a large planet. I didn't even look. We could have looked. Uh, but if it's a nice planet, we will set up a portal base here as well. Doesn't matter that we have two bases on the same planet. Again, neither of them is going to be uploaded. Uh, nobody's going to see either, except us. But it's nice to have them properly named for your teleport list when you're using them later. So, if one is just named Subzerbal, Sud, or Sub, we'll have to maybe go up into space and take a peek. <laughs> we will be going up into space uh, to go to the portal or to the monolith first, probably. I 
think it's Sudzerbol. Yeah, so that's what we're going to just name this real quick. It's definitely Galaxy 30. Ah, well, it's, uh, it's a lush planet, but it has storms. That's just fantastic. <laughs> okay. Oh, gotta do that. There we go. Good enough. That part's done. Where's the ship at? I'll, you know what? Let's just call it up here. I don't want to waste too much nav data in case we need to buy more maps. Speaking of, uh, let's recharge the hazard protection first. But speaking of maps, let's see if we want to use it here or if there's something better in this system. Hmm. You know what? Doesn't look like it. It's a nice looking planet when it's not storming. We'll just find a portal here. So to do that, first things first is we activate one of these. Hopefully just one. Cross our fingers. We want to see ancient monolith or alien monolith. Whatever that one is. There we go. Alien monolith. Perfect. We could have made uh, an autosave in our ship first and then reloaded if we didn't get what we wanted. But we could always just buy more maps. All right, so we're headed behind us. How far away is the monolith? 30 minutes away. Wow, couldn't find one closer, huh? Hmm. All right, up into space we go out of that storm. We're going to have to answer this question correctly, too. What race is this? Also Viking. Hopefully we know the keywords for this one. Or we can just pay more attention and we don't have to guess like we did at the last one. Planet name is Eddie here. That's really cool. Hopefully the storms aren't too long. All right, let's grab these in just in case they are the keywords we need. <laughs> Help. Hmm. Multi-tool, that one could be a keyword actually. And seek. All right, let's uh, make an autosave now that we gained those words, and then we will try the thing. We're, we're going to cheese it if we fail. <laughs> the point is setting up the bases today, and uh, this is one way to do it. Cheating. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this monolith as well. Oh, there's a predator on this planet. Oh, interesting to know. Uh, something the ancient warrior. That's all we've got. Uh, become a part of Strange New Reality. Ancient rock opens. Dread of heart of an ancient warrior. Pulses still beating. Wrinkled lungs. Huh. Uh, oh. Hmm. Uh. That doesn't seem like good result. That was not a good result. We shouldn't have shot the heart. <laughs> We're going to load the game. And that's why we did that. All right, let's try uh, respectfully leaving because there was an option to leave and like respectfully not do anything to the corpse. I didn't want to string up the lungs, but something tells me me not wanting to do that means it's the right answer. I don't see how the words that we're missing could make me understand why we would string up the lungs, but uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Fortunately, these riddles will be the same each time. Uh, each time you reload, at least. I don't know if they're the same 
or if they change over time or anything like that, but the same monolith should have the same riddle. And uh, let's just get it out of there right now. I don't know if we can um, pull it straight from the freighter inventory even with that thing, but we're going to hand it in from here anyway, assuming we guess right here. Ancient warrior, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. still beating. So yeah, I can respectfully depart. Uh, I scream at this point. Yeah, we see. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it again. We got to string up the lungs. Uh, I was right. <laughs> I, I was wrong twice, but I was right that I was going to be wrong <laughs> the second time. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but of course that's why, because No Man's Sky, NMS, also means no makes sense. But it's all good, it's all good. It does not take long to drop down a base computer and a couple of uh, solar panels, provided we have enough ferrite to, to make all of the... Uh, metal plating we need. We definitely do not have carbon. We're going to have to put some flowers or condensed carbon into the refiner. We should do that now. In fact, since we know what the answer is going to be, let's see what's in the refiner. No, you know what? Let's, let's worry about that when we get to it. We've got a dagger. Actually, we didn't get the dagger. We're going to find out if we can pull it straight from the freighter. <laughs> All right, let's string up those lungs. Uh, and they begin to pulse in harmony. All right, <laughs> that is not what I guessed would have happened with stringing up dead lungs. Atlas word reality. All right, that's neat. Where's the portal on this planet, please? It's a terrible planet. <laughs> yeah, it let me grab a dagger straight from the freighter. That's awesome. Yeah, I know I have a visitor at the settlement. That's not what we're doing today. How far away? Uh, oh, that's really close. Let's just go up into orbit and not pulse, but just use our thrusters at max power. Much faster than one minute. When you come in above the clouds, that is. Well, we had to fly all the way around the planet for... Oh, you know what we should do is before we get there, let's just verify that we are in Sud Zerbal. We named our base that, right? Let's fly up into space and hit the map button. Oh, okay. Wow, the game did not like that. S-U-D... Z-E-R-B-A-L. All right. Sud Zerbal. I might have done B-L-E. I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> All right. Where's that portal marker? There we go. We will be able to see our other base name in the teleporter list. Yeah, it does appear to be day here. Don't know for how long, but we should have teleporter access. I could have, ooh, you know what? It's pretty nice that the portal access is on this side of the portal and not the other side, because the other side is buried in the hill, which I always think is pretty cool. I am happy we have uh, a portal base like this. That's awesome. Maybe we'll explore some sud Zerbal derelicts. Uh, let's drop down our base computer. Let's get this done. All right, let's claim the base first things first. Uh, I guess we'll build it first and then we'll name it. Let's make sure we have the resources we need. Oh, uh, just one second, gotta pause. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Had someone knocking at the door. Uh, okay. 
Let's continue on. Uh, where are we? <laughs> Building a base. All right, we're going to need some plating and some carbon. Let's see what we can do. We only need two nanotubes. We might have enough. Okay, cool. Done. And metal plating. We need six for the way I do it. There we go. And we could buy that stuff in the space station if we need to, but let's not. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, the chromatic metal. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well, you know what? One battery and one solar panel will probably be enough. So, as long as we don't need chromatic metal for the um, teleport terminus, which I know we don't because we just looked it up. It was sodium. Should be good to go here. I know that two will help it stay powered all the way through the night. It'll fully charge the battery. Um, Q, no. Whoops, whoops, we didn't power the portal. Build. Camera. And, okay, we got a little bit of lag. I'm going to have to pause again. <laughs> there we go. So, let's head to the settlement. I guess we are doing some settlement stuff today. Uh, but first thing first, I'm going to make a save here. And we're going to name this base. And I'm going to try to fix this lag. Id Porous Base. No, that's not good enough. This is Sud Zerbal Portal Base. Ah, I didn't get the capital B. We're going to have to live with that. <laughs> uh, Autosave, because we can't upload. We won't get a save that way. Very nice purple and pink grass here with green skies. It's a shame about the storms. It's a shame about the lag. All right, one more pause, and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we're good to go. Feeling a little bit less lag. The textures might still not have loaded in. Uh, let's head straight to the base terminus here and go to the settlement. Now, hopefully we don't have... Oh, and immediately, immediately the lag started up again. Uh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> that was super slow. Yeah, what's going on there? We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Yeah, hopefully we don't have a sentinel attack. Uh, we'll deal with this visitor. I think I'm done building stuff at this settlement. I don't think I have any more building opportunities, unfortunately. So two landing pads, that's all we get. Uh, we did get two large structures. So that's four or five, I think just four settlers each, which is nice. Uh, we don't have a marketplace, which I'm disappointed about, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, we got a water tower. Those look really cool, especially since it's a Viking settlement. So it's all stone buildings anyway, and all the water towers are stone no matter what kind of settlement you have. So ours matches. We got that going for us. All right, yeah, it looks like we got a lot of lag, but we are heading into a settlement, which always gives me problems. As you can see, <laughs> I've not even named this planet or system yet, despite our settlement being here. Uh, all right, we could uh, maybe head over to the office while it's loading in. What we should probably do is head over to our ship at least and make an autosave because we're in the center of town right now and we're like stuck on invisible boxes, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did not fix the lag issue at all. That's unfortunate. That's running. This is us running. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to hop in and hop out. We've got a new autosave. How many times can I pause the recording without crashing my computer completely? We're about to find out. Be right back, everybody. <laughs> wow, so slow. <laughs> I 
All right, let's try to do this before the game decides to lag again. Oh, jeez. A couple more things needed to pop in. I should have waited a couple more seconds. <laughs> uh, no, no. Yeah, see, we can run. We're not, like, having a stroke as we run here. It's all good. Let's talk about our visitor real quick. Like, hopefully it's not anything bad. Uh, oh, you know what? Removes leaking pipes. I didn't even know we had that. And an interstellar fancy plant. Sounds like something uh, great. <laughs> it might give us happiness. It's going to cost us 100000 That's okay. We'll pay it off in less than a day. About half a day, actually. Uh, we can take a peek. We don't really got time for this if we're going to go set up another base here. But uh, five hours till we pay that off. That's great. Uh, oh, decreases maintenance cost. That's why. It's even faster than normal. Excellent. I assumed that would have done happiness. Hopefully we can get rid of dancing being banned and no pets being allowed. That'll help happiness quite a bit, especially if it replaces them with things that improve happiness. Alright, let's make a save and lock that in. And also, because we need to activate our map one more time, and what if we get a bad result? <laughs> no, we've got seven maps and we only need to drop one more base today. So we'll just keep going till we get what we need. Well, we got ancient artifact. Ancient alien artifact. Ooh, okay. Why do I keep thinking it's going to say ancient things? It's all alien stuff, isn't it? Uh, no, no, we were on the right tab. I just wanted to go to cargo. Monolith? Nope. Alien artifact. <clears throat> All right. Keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> just because these are in the cargo tab. Similar marked. We'll just keep going. Keep trying until it finds the one we need. There we go. I think only monolith is left, but there might be something else it can find. There we go, monolith. All right, we're gonna fly there and solve the riddle, but I don't think we got time to put up the base computer today. We're just going to uh, figure out where the portal is on this planet. We haven't done that yet. We got a uh, settlement here, a fully built settlement and everything, but Oh, you know what's funny is maybe we did find the portal. What's that over there? Safe beacon, 29 away. Uh, no, that's probably like a sentinel pillar. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. Sentinel pillar from the Taste of Metal mission. We marked it. I remember now. But it will be funny if we do have uh, a safe beacon here already for the portal. <laughs> But this is the method. We're showing the method off, even if I've already done it once here before. That's what this is about. How to do it. How to set up a portal base. Uh, we know we're in a Viking system again. Doesn't look like we've been to this portal before. Uh, sorry, monolith, because the words haven't been grabbed. So I think we have just enough time to grab some words, make a save, and give one attempt at this riddle. System there. Oh. Ooh, ooh. What's that for? Words or walking? Words. A hundred words total. We don't know a lot on this save. All right. Let's see what you got for us, Pyramid. Ooh, with a spinning eye. That's cool. I've never been to this one before. That's really neat. All right, what do you got for us? Images of creatures long dead before it. Sacrifice butchered, offered up to whatever gods were once worshipped here. Uh, I didn't read this, the Viking words we knew. I'm just gonna pick sacrifice. Roaring appreciation, that sounds good to me. All right, 
Let's mark a portal. With our that last dagger that we got, we're gonna have to go buy some more. <laughs> Uh, and that'll be it. I will go set up a portal base here, and when we come back next time, we are going to do some derelicts, at least one or two, to showcase the different ones in different systems, and hopefully I will have a bunch more modules, and we can uh, do some installing and upgrading of our freighter the time after that. But until next time, everybody, have a good time.